Hi gentlemen, welcome back. Today we continue with free energy generation systems. And this time I will speak about the James Clock Hydrodynamic Energy Generation System. This image over here, it looks very nice. It's a very huge system. And we will continue to use gravity for creation of free energy. And besides gravity, we will add the buoyancy. So let me now explain what is the buoyancy. So the buoyancy, this image over here represents it very precisely. It's basically the force which um, pushes the object to float. Yeah? If you push the plastic object into the, into the water, it has density less, less than the water and it will rise up to the surface. So that's it. So if, the, for example, it's, if it's other way around that the, the object which we will throw into the water has the bigger density than the water itself, it has tend tendency to sink. Yeah? So that's it. So basically we will use the buoyancy, the force of buoyancy, to move in our system and use this energy later for creation of free energy. So basically the difference between this um, buoyancy and gravity uh, you can see on this image over here. So exactly the amount, the, the force of buoyancy, exactly the amount of the water which is pushed up when this uh, object is put inside of the water. But let me now stop speaking about this uh, buoyancy and let's get to the drawings and see how it's supposed to work. All right, viewers, so let's have a look on this system and what it is all here about. Yeah? So let's see, I'll turn it around just uh, very shortly that you see what components are here and let's try very shortly describing one by one. So as I said in the, in the intro of my video, you see we use the buoyancy as the force which will be used uh, to, to move this system. Yeah? And of, of course, beside buoyancy, also the gravity. And now we are able to see really precisely this design. Yeah? So this big yellow, so this will be our big huge water tank. Yeah? And here, here is, here is the person. So in comparison, it must be a very huge system. So, so basically that's it. Yeah? And now you see that we have uh, two reservoirs on the bottom, this one over here where is my mouse, and on the top the second one. And in the middle on this main shaft there is a buoy uh, which, has, which is mounted on some supports which can go up and down on this column. Yeah, this uh, this uh, column is used just to move it precisely up and down. Yeah? And of course some bearings are on the bottom and on the top which on which this main mechanism is spinning as you can see so how this how this works yeah so i'll zoom in yeah now you see that there is a first air comp uh, air tank is on the bottom yeah? it has it has three valves so first valve and this hose will be used to pick up the air from the atmosphere yeah? this uh, this flexible hose yeah, this one here which where i'm selecting my mouse is the second uh, second and the most important hose which will move with this boy up and down, yeah. And of course, so when when this boy is um, uh, empty of air, it will sink to the bottom, yeah. So that's the purpose. And this and this uh, going down of this boy uh, will spin this. You see this uh, mechanism. This uh, some kind of thread is on this uh, main column, and by this boy coming down, this will spin, and the energy will be transferred to the generator on the on the top yeah and of course he mentions in the patent that it's better to use a flywheel system to extract more energy out of this yeah and of course on on the top on this roof the he proposes to use some solar panels which are necessary that we have some excess energy which will uh, help to pump pump the air from this bottom uh, air reservoir into this boy yeah? so so that's it and so so when we uh, so when we fill the air with of this boy uh, of this boy uh, of course the boy will uh, come rising up to the top yeah, to the top of the water level yeah? and when it's on the top the second hose this on, on the wall so let me just hide this because for some reason i cannot select anything inside so so basically when when this boy comes to the top to, to this level over here we will let the air out and we have the non-return valve that the air cannot come back and then when, when the air the boy is empty of air 
you know, have density uh, less uh, or higher than the water, and it will sink. And this, and this gravity force, which is uh, used from the sinking, will actually help to this to spin and create free energy. Yeah? And of course, on the bottom reservoir, we continue this process circularly. Yeah? And there is a middle hose, so which can be also used to not to be able to not to be able to pump additional air from outside, but to use the same air inside of this system. So two vessel air pressure vessels should uh, do all the work here. Yeah? And that's basically it. Yeah. So it's not too complicated system, unhide, and um, there are some calculations which I will tell later. So basically that. Uh, that this is possible to work that really this this force which is created when this boy is falling down you know, from the top to the bottom of reservoir uh, will create enough energy that this generator spins and produce energy yeah? and of course this energy some energy is needed to pump the air from the re air reservoir to the boy itself and that's it all right so that was uh, james Kwok hydrodynamic energy generation system so you see we, we have a gravity which pushes things down and we have the buoyancy which pushes things up inside of the water or the medium which has less density than the medium in which we put some object so basically this balloon which we will blow inside of this uh, big water tank will tend to rise up yeah and this and this 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 is because of the we will change the density of the material because we'll put air inside of this boy yeah? and when it comes up to the top of course we will suck out the air which we which we which we have taken from the bottom reservoir and we will let it into the top reservoir and then this balloon will shrink in the middle yeah? and then it will sink to the to the bottom yeah and that's it and this this force which is created when this is falling down to the bottom of the uh, water tank where it will spin the generator and produce free energy. Of course, there is many possibilities how to design this system and it, it suggests in the patent that we also use, for example, some maybe um, solar system to for this bottom tank you know, so that we have the ener some other energy to uh, suck the air into this balloon or, or this boy, boy in the middle. But th that's basically it, yeah. so it's a very interesting system. So of course, not to be. Uh, this is really serious, and from the first side, uh, person will say, of course, you need much more energy to push this up and to fill this air into this boy. That this go up than energy which is produced when this is falling down. But this is not true. Yeah, it's in the patent. In, down in the description below, you can find the patent link. It describes the formulas how to calculate and which type of the hoses must be for such a system, for a huge system, that this is possible to work. Of course, there is an original video, of course, down in the description, and please have a look at what the, the James Clock says about it. So that's basically it. So thank you for watching. Until next video, take care.